Well, hi there, it's Brooke, and I have some Halloween coffee bar tier trays for you. So I designed three different coffee bar tier trays. I had some super cute cups at Target this year, so I picked one up and kind of designed a tray around that. And then I kind of used my Halloween pumpkins that I've been talking about. And then the other tray is just kind of a spooky tray. So let's get to tier train. So for our first tray, we're gonna do our Halloween. And as I told you, kind of like in my haul and my other one tray, three ways video, I really wanted to set these two next to each other. So I decided to do kind of a coffee bar kitchen theme with them. I set these two up here and I just thought they looked super cute. So I just went and grabbed items that I thought filled out the tray well and kind of went with that. Could be Halloween, could be kind of fall. So like I did before, I grabbed this little thrifted jack-o-lantern with the moon eyes and put them on a pedestal to raise them up and this time I thought this little spiky green I got looked pretty cute in there and then I also went and grabbed my yum canister because I know it fits on this tray like super nice and then I added a little white pumpkin right here and then on the other side of the jack-o-lantern I grabbed my largest cloche and those three little broomsticks or which yeah broomsticks you would say that I thrifted and I just kind of leaned them back in here. I tried to put them in the medium one, but they were just a little too long. So I ended up putting them in this large one. And you can just kind of shake it to how you want it. And then I just put them over there. I thought that gave me that good like orange, brown, you know, more textured kind of color. And then to fill in the back, I just added one of these striped pumpkins on a little riser to give it some height. And then I added a black pumpkin over next to this guy just to fill that side in a little more and I didn't put anything behind him because he's so tall that you won't even really see it unless you need it to like 360 the tray but that is very hard for me to do I don't have to do it a lot this one wouldn't be super awful if you just put something right here you could easily 360 this tray but for me this is all I need next tray I really wanted to use my spooky mug and this one did come with a ghost topper it just didn't fit so I ended up just putting it on wood slice and setting it down here and then the next two elements I decided to use on the tray are my two little Halloween birds I do believe I've used my Thanksgiving kind of fall birds up here and my Valentine's ones don't know if I've done my Easter ones because I don't know if I've done the Easter ones, but I just like how they fit up here. And so up there with them, I decided to put my little metal house from Hobby Lobby. Filled it in with a couple of these twigs in the chimney. And then I also decided to hang down one of these spiky ones that I got at Michael's. Okay, now I kind of filled in the bottom a little bit more. I decided to put this little like tea light ghost holder. This is from Walmart and I still think they carry them. And then I wanted to use my spook. Joanne's spider pumpkin from a few years ago and then just for some filler in the back and to add a little more orange I grabbed my orange lantern and then I grabbed that large raffia pumpkin just to kind of fill in here by the cup and then one of my last touches I grabbed those tongs from Dollar General I did see some of these either at Dollar Tree or Walmart too and I just stuck them over here in this spooky cup and then I do kind of have a little spot here so I just kind of stuck one of those big Big plastic spiders from the Dollar General over here kind of be peeking out at you you get close enough to the tray I thought that looked a little weird there and I did try to put like a garland or beads there and I just ultimately left it alone just looked better that way and there is my spooky tray these tongs are so funny I don't even know how you would use those like for a salad I suppose because they're not connected they're just super funny and I love this tray it works so well with my bird I really enjoy using them on this tray. Mm -hmm. 
So for the final tray, I was kind of using this canister I picked up from Home Goods as a little bit of an inspiration. And I kind of made it sure that these two were kind of pulling out, kind of the witchy theme and the mummy sort of theme. And so once I decided to use the mummy, I knew had to order this guy from Target. I tried the skull one and is that it? I don't know. And I liked him best so I kept him. I just thought he was funny and a little different. And I did put him on a wood slice just to elevate him up just a little bit. And then I filled in the top with my little orange and black succulent. I also grabbed my concrete mossy jack-o-lantern to put up there. And then I grabbed this little black fern to kind of fill out the back a little bit. And once again, I grabbed some sticks to stick in his head. I don't know why I like that. I just just think it's kind of cute and fun. So for the bottom, after I had this filled in, I really wanted to use my little candy disc cauldron that I got from Target last year and these glitterly little glitter, glitterly, glitterly, glitterly little skulls I decided to put in there. And yes, they are glittery and yes, it kind of does get all over, but I just thought it was cute. Almost think it looks like bubbles in there if you don't look real close. And then to add in a little bit more of the purple and the green, I grabbed this little pumpkin here on the side. And then to fill in the back, I grabbed my Frankenstein. It's a tea light holder from Walmart. Literally, probably over 20 years ago. <laughs> I had a few other things kind of like it in this metal, but this is the one I've kept on to. So we are going to pop him back here to kind of be peeking out from the back. And then I also decided to put my other little eucalyptus back here. And then just to fill in some of the blank spots, I grabbed another twig of this kind of spiky greenery. To bring in a little more purple from here, I grabbed one of my eucalyptus from the Target Dollar Spot and just popped that in my little Frankenstein. And there is my Frankenstein mummy tray. I love using that little canister. It's just been a fun one to have. It has a variety of characters on it so you can kind of focal point whatever ones you would like and then I love the added like the purples the greens the oranges the blacks the whites it's just got all the spooky colors There was my three coffee bar tier trays for Halloween. I love how they turned out and I just thought of what my style is. It's spooksty. Spooky and cute. So it's spooksty. <laughs> I'll, I'll put that up on the screen how I think it should be spelled. So I hope you enjoyed. As always, I hope you got some motivation, inspiration to design your own little Halloween tray. I think it'd be fun if you just wanted to set up a coffee bar. I'm definitely going to put one on my coffee bar this year. And then, or if you want to do like an entry table one. And I know those two little... Um, Pumpkins are going to go in my entryway, so I'm just super excited. So the next tiered tray video for Halloween you should see is my Halloween tiered trays that I'm going to be using in my house. And so I'm excited to go create those. As always, please like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.